Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, today's video is going to be a full face fall makeup look using all products you can either find at the drugstore or just affordable brand. So I did bust out a lot of drugstore products and I was in my head thinking I'm gonna do a simple look, but of course it's so hard for me to keep it simple. So we're gonna see, but it's gonna be more of a fall glam I'd say. I just feel like I don't know, I feel like my eyes are so puffy, my hair is super frizzy today because it's really rainy outside. I don't feel very glam right now, that's like the moral of that story, but I have dinner tonight with friends, so I have to pull myself together here, we're gonna pull it together, together. So before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and why don't we go ahead and jump on in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyes, and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer in the shade Fair. It is super helpful to use a lighter shade of an eye base and something that has pretty good coverage to it, so that's why I sort of slather on my concealer on my lids. <laughs> So now that I have this reverse raccoon eye action going on, I'm going to take a lighter matte shade. This is by ColourPop. These are one of the little $5 pressed powder eyeshadows. This one is called Hear Me Out. Before my transition, I'm going to use this shade called Wake Up Call. And this is another ColourPop shadow. This is just a soft brown. This color is nice though because you can apply it a little bit lighter and get a softer shade or just keep layering it on if you want it to be a bit more intense. Then just dipping into this ColourPop shadow, this is called Locked and Loaded. It's just a bit more of a yellowy tone that I'm going to use to diffuse out that shade we just put down. Then I just wanna layer our transition shadow back on to make sure we haven't lost any of that vividness of that color. Blend one more time. <gasps> then switching things up to a bit of a warmer brown, something a bit darker, this is called Note to Self, also by ColourPop. So I'm going to take that on a little bit of a smaller brush. This is an IT brush, and it's one of their airbrush um, crease brushes. That's just gonna go mostly in the outer corner, go back in with some of Wake Up Call, and just scoot that around the edges of everything. This one is called Paper Tiger, sort of like a mustard color. And I'm going to just swish that in the crease along with the others just to help blend everything out. So next I'm gonna take the shade Top Notch. It's a little bit more of a reddish brown. I don't wanna do anything too red, because I feel like I wanna do some of that yellow on the lid, and I don't want this to become too red and yellow, like too Ronald McDonald-y. So I'm just applying this, sort of gradually sweeping it all over the lid, but mostly just in that crease and in the outer corner as well. It can help. Um, to turn your brush one side, so see how I only have color on one side of the brush? I'm gonna dip the color side down. I'm gonna turn the brush this way when I go to blend. So I'll kind of apply it like this. And then when I get to the outermost corner, I'll flip my brush this way just so I know that all the color is going on one side of it. That way you don't have to worry about it getting too messy. So I sort of kept layering all those colors, those all those browns, um, and keep blending them up and out and really blowing it out. So I need to go back and blend with a little bit more of that Paper Tiger shadow just to make sure the very outermost edge is softened. Okay, so now I'm gonna take uh, the color Hear Me Out again and I'm using this on a Sigma brush. This is a cream color E58 brush. So this is gonna get us a really crisp line. I don't want this to be a cut crease, but I do really want it to be a defined area on the lid. Maybe stop just shy of the center of the lid. You can see how that kind of gives us a nice crisp look to our shadow. I'm gonna go back to Paper Tiger. Okay, so I'm just packing that uh, yellowy shade sort of right on the center of the lid. But we don't wanna bring it in any farther than that. We just kinda wanna keep it right on that outer center area of the lid right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this outer part with that dark shadow top notch again. So just taking that on a smaller brush and filling the crease back in a little bit and blending it into the yellow color. So then I'm gonna take this shade called Cloud Nine. It's just a very, very dark, rich brown with some purple undertones. Place it in that outer corner, sort of line the upper lash line with it just to give everything a bit more dimension. It's definitely a dark color though, so. Be careful, don't bring it up too high or do too much with it because you're just gonna end up having to go back with some other colors. So I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just 
wipe away any fallout that I may have. And for my face primer, I'm going to be using this one by L'Oreal. This is the Visible Lift Radiance Booster. I've actually used this primer quite a bit. I really like it. I feel like it gives a nice hydrated look to the skin as well. It's not like too thick. It's just a nice, I don't know, it's a really nice consistency. So I've actually never tried this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation before. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm a little nervous because I always have an issue with CoverGirl foundations and finding the right shade. So I have two here. Hmm, that actually looks pretty good. This is Classic Ivory. I'm just going to do a little dollop of this one. This is Creamy Natural just to maybe deepen it up a touch. Yeah, and then using this Eco Tools little blending sponge. Hmm. It has an interesting scent. It doesn't bother me too much though. I love how my forehead is like so much darker than the rest of my face. <sighs> All right, let's start with that and see what happens. I get really nervous testing out new foundations on camera because if it doesn't look good, it's gonna like mess up the whole face. But, hmm. Hmm, might be a little light still in, sh in color, but. I don't know, it actually looks really nice. I'm really liking this so far. I like how um, thin it is. It looks really nice on the skin. It has pretty decent coverage, but it's not like cakey. I already did it to this eye, and I just applied my Maybelline Master Conceal in light medium this time underneath my eyes. I just dotted it on. Then I'm just going around the face with a bit more of that same concealer just to highlight a few areas to bring them forward. So to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using the Catrice Cosmetics Nude Illusion Loose Powder. So if you order this from the website, I believe it's a little bit over $10, but if you get it at Ulta, it is $8.99. And then to set my foundation, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in number 20, Light Medium. So I actually haven't tried this loose powder yet, um, but I really like the packaging. Looks very classy. I'm just going to tap that on to my skin to set my foundation. I'm going to use that same Maybelline concealer that I used before and just use it to clean up my brows and add a bit of a highlight. I'm just going to set that with that Hear Me Out shadow from before. And if I need to, take a bit more of that Paper Tiger shadow and just go over in between the concealer and the eyeshadow. To bronze my skin, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer in the shade Tropical Tan, which looks like this. This is really, really pigmented. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in super light at first. I love this bronzer because it looks nice on the skin. It blends out super easy. And it's just a really nice tone. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, so it looks slightly radiant. It just looks really nice and natural on the skin. I am gonna do a little bit of blush, so I'm gonna use this one by Flower Beauty. This is the Flower Pots Powder Blush in the shade Peach Primrose. <laughs> it's a mouthful, but it's a really pretty peach color, and I'm gonna use this Flower Beauty brush, which is really gorgeous, actually. It's a really nice brush. So, just to bring a little bit of color to those cheeks. It's actually really pretty, I like that. Sweet. It goes on nice. It's not like too powdery. Okay, so for my highlight, I've been so excited to try these new highlighters by Wet n Wild. One second, let me open it. It is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. The one I'm going to be using today is this beautiful peachy tone. Uh, what's your name? What's your sign? The name of this was on the label and not the packaging, so I just ripped it off, but I'll find out and put it down below in the info box. That is so, so, so beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. I'm also gonna take it just like on a smaller fluffy brush like this and pop it into the inner corners. I'm gonna finish off the lower lash line by taking the color Top Notch that we used before on a really big angle brush. This is one of my favorites, the Sigma Line Perfector E68. Then taking a little bit more of that Paper Tiger shadow. I keep wanting to say tiger's eye. And on a little fluffy angle brush, just sort of buff out any edges, especially this inner part here. I'm kind of finish off the shape with that shade. So for my mascara today, I'm going to be trying out the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I definitely like the looks of the brush. It's like nice and chunky. For my lashes today, I use the Ardell Glamour Whiskies. And for a little bit of liner, I feel like I just want to conceal my false lashes and kind of darken up the lash line. I'm going to use the Koki Professional, I think that's how you say it, Koki? Line and Style Longwear Matte Liquid Eyeliner. You can find this brand at Walmart. So this liner is okay. It's a little watery, 
Um, but it does have a nice long tip to it, so it's easy to kind of lay down onto the lash line if you want to conceal your lash glue. Originally, I was going to pop some of this eyeshadow into this look. This is really pretty. This is called Untamed by Makeup Geek. But, I don't know, I really like the way it looks, just like the matte colors. So I think I'm going to stick with that and instead add a little rhinestone um, just to, I don't know, just to make it more fun. You guys can totally leave it like this, obviously. But this is the Recollections Bling on a Roll. These are from Michaels and I think they're like five or six bucks for the whole roll. So I'm going to be applying these like peachy champagne colored rhinestones right underneath my eye in the center of my lower lash line with some tweezers and lash glue. And I'm really torn between doing like a burgundy brown, burgundy brown, lip color like this, or doing a more of a brownish red like this Milani color. So I think I'm going to go with the Milani one. I decided I could always add the gloss on top if I wanted to deepen it up or make it really shiny and glossy. This is the Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Crush. Okay guys, so that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really love how it turned out because I didn't go um, into my comfort zone and pop like a shimmery color on the lid or do like a sparkle on the lid. I just stuck with the matte tones and I really like the way the colors work with each other. I really love this color too. I'm just checking to see if I have any um, liquid lipstick on my teeth. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!